welcome to Coffee Craft. I'm your host, Anon Jr. And with me today is Rest. Arcadius will be joining us shortly. And uh, we are over in the village that we've been rehabbing. Back over my shoulder there, you see the uh, mob dropper, mo the zombie XP grinder that we built last week. And so far, it seems to be working pretty good. Uh, we also noticed while building that that there were more than a few caves below us that, uh, well, let's just say they could use some illumination. So that is the goal for this week. To go down into the various caves, there, there's an entrance over here, there's an entrance over there by Rayast. There's two or three other entrances that we found while building the front gate. I know I blocked off a couple of them. But, um, so random armor come, armor covered zombies don't, you know, crawl out the ground and eat our villagers alive. We're, uh, we're gonna take today's stream to go through and, and light all this stuff up. Plus it'll help the, uh, XP grinder. Because as we build this, we, <laughs> we've been burning through some tools, we've been burning through some stuff. And it's been really handy to have a ready source of XP to mend things right there. And lighting this stuff up would definitely help uh, help speed up that process. Rest, are you there? Hello. All right. Uh, we're gonna start in this guy and. See which other ones we poke out around. Sounds good. Hold on a second, though. Ah, yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, we. Oh, <laughs> you keep handing me shulker boxes. Yeah, you get five. Okay. Uh, since sea lanterns are the easiest light source to come by with the. Uh, farm that Arcadius built. That's what we're going to be using the light stuff up. And uh, we're keeping some extra shul empty shulker boxes handy because you can never have enough resources. So as we run across coal and stuff, we're going to go ahead and farm that. And I'm actually thinking of sinking the light one block into the ground so that way it's not a tripping hazard and we get the maximum benefit of the light. Does that make sense? It does. Okay, I got enough. Okay. Alright. Then, uh, away we go. Down, down to Goblin Town. Uh, I'm tempted to say leave the torches, unless you want to go ahead and get those swapped out too, because uh, we'll need the torches to make your lanterns. Yeah, we should probably grab torches then. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, but um, I use a few... Uh, since we're lighting in the ground, what are we doing? Like three wide and um, I don't know. I, I don't think we're in any going to be in any danger of overlighting. Okay, how far apart do they need to be? Um, I want to say it's at least ten or thirteen blocks apart on a straightaway. But honestly, I can never remember, and I subscribe to the theory that you can never overlate. So uh, I just start plopping them down every however long it feels comfortable. Okay. I mean, if we end up needing more uh, more sea lanterns, we can always go run the oh no where guardian will we get farm. Them? Yeah, exactly. Oh, we're gonna have a fun time. Oh, um, 
You still need to make a bunch more concrete, don't you? Of course. How is that a question? Well, it's a question because we got these big old gravel patches that I just ran across, and if you need a lot more concrete, then I'm going to go ahead and harvest all the gravel. All the more concrete. All the more concrete. All right, then I guess all we're getting the all concrete. the gravel. Oh, water. And that is why I like using sea lanterns for this. Because they're shiny? Uh, no, because when you run into water caves like this, the sea lanterns don't wash away. Let's try to do this without the drowning. No fun. Well, that is going to be interesting, isn't it? Keeping tabs on the changes to the honey block and all that. Mm, sort of, except remember the whole I don't do redstone thing? Ah. So I never, like, everybody keeps talking about, like, how cool it is that they don't stick to slime box and how useful it is. And I'm just going, mm, the texture doesn't really match my palette. Hey, medic. Um, well... <laughs> Actually, uh, there might be a point where, uh, where a slime block of that color, for want of a better word, would, uh, match in. Oh, I probably should have brought some potions of water breathing. Yep, I should have definitely brought some potions of water breathing. Speaking of, if we knew anyone who, you know, wanted to consider what? down the road teaching somebody about the weird stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I do have that um, Redstone tutorial series that I do want to do. And one of the things that I would like to do with that series is not just go, here's, <laughs> here's all the intricate details of Redstone. Oh, and now let's build something. I'd like to kind of build it a little bit at a time. There we go. That works. Um, you know, like, here's a button. Here's the things a button can do. Now, let's build something with just a button. Here's a piston. And then build it up that way one step at a time. Instead of trying to show, here, here's the 82 different things that you can build with. Oh, and now let's start building with them. I can do one thing with a piece most... of redstone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, make a redstone lamp. Exactly. <laughs> That's all I got. It's a pretty lamp, though. It is a pretty lamp. Powered by a bajillion torches. Redstone torches. They're beautiful. They're beautiful. Until you stop and think about how many redstone torches gave their all to me. <laughs> but then it becomes... If they're all, they gave just enough. Just enough. You did say that you were going to put some signs together, right? Yes. Okay. But I also thought somebody scoffed at my signs. I did scoff at your signs. 
until I realized how much I was changing the terrain and wouldn't be able to recognize it on the second go round. Oh, okay. Yeah. So is someone retconning their feeling on signs? Signs, signs, everywhere the signs. Okay. I mean, you work for a corporate entity. You ought to be used to minds getting changed. <laughs> Only every day. Now we're about to have the ghost blocks. Actually, we're going to have ghost blocks. That's how they work. Oh. Uh, do I have shears? Yes. Enchanted shears. Because I was checking to see if that was really a thing. So I've got some shears with efficiency 4, unbreaking 3, and mending. Because... What? Why not? Why? <laughs> oh, then I won't tell you about the uh, flint and steel that has mending and unbreaking 3. Oh my goodness. Do you know... Wait, 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 wait. Are you going to give me a hard time about burnable things? What do you mean burnable things? Uh, the flint and steel? No, I just don't know why it needs like to be forever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. Medic, it got a lot easier when we had a villager with a mending book. So, yeah, it, it was a struggle right up until it wasn't. Oh, we must be... Ah, oh, we're still in view of the beacon. Oh! Hello! <laughs> Okay then. I guess he just wanted to say hi. It's polite of him. Mm hmm. Especially as I uh, chop up his uh, his mine shaft. That reminds me. I still so, what do you think of the honey blocks? Myself. I am cautiously optimistic. Right now, they're still early enough in development that uh, nothing's etched in stone. Maybe I shouldn't be standing here while I do this. I hear zombies. They sound like they're coming from over there. I don't see it there, there. Um... Yeah, I'm cautiously optimistic. I, I like that they're listening to the community in not making them stick together. Like everybody said, hey, we would really, really love it if these things would not stick together. And they went, okay. I, I find that absolutely amazing and wonderful. Um, we had a Room of my hopper. There we go. I am curious if they're not going to go back on that one, though. Just because the, the things you can do when the push limit is bumped like that start to get borderline ridiculous. Um... Having said that, yeah. having said that, uh, you, it, it's going to take a lot to get, going to take a lot to get the honey. And not die while doing it. Yeah. Well, and I, I say that, and then I start thinking of some of the people who are noted for making 
completely and utterly ridiculous farms. And then go, well, maybe it won't be as ridiculous as I thought. <laughs> uh, yeah, but at the end of the day, aren't they already making ridiculous farms? Yeah. Uh. All right. Um, where's all my breadcrumbs? Okay. I wonder how you rate that Canadian like that. And I hear some serious zombies near here somewhere. My directional hearing was any better. I could probably tell if they were coming from the left or the right. <laughs> So there is a cave up there. Some of them. Something very bad by the sound of it. Yeah. I mean, it's growling like a certain puppy's stomach. Um, that's always growling. Yeah, I know. Where is Jabba? Is he hiding somewhere again? I think so. Oh, 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 oh. Caven. Okay, that wasn't my smartest move. that printed up on a mug for the merch. That wasn't my smartest move. <laughs> yeah, Arcadius will be here in a little bit. He had an errand to run, and uh, yeah, so he should be here bef before too long. And I'll tell him that you said speaking of puppies. arrow pointing up. Uh, sorry. Uh, I am slightly distracted at the moment. Go away! Oh! Both of you. That sounds bad. That would be because that's bad. Uh, go, go, gadget, ender pearl. Oh, that just about did me in two. I think I'm gonna sit here and have a snack. Yep, I'm definitely going to sit here and have a snack. Okay, uh, hmm. Hmm. Uh, I need to find a safer way down there. Because that very definitely needs to get lit up. And all the copyright issues we were worried aside, I am still very happy that you are no longer running around in your Jack Skellington skin. Because ah. I'm about to shoot anything that looks like a skeleton. <laughs> yeah, but we have friendly fire on, right? We have friendly fire turned off. Ah. Oh, my inventory's full already. Okay. Um, hmm. Yeah, no, I just didn't realize that it was already full. Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and make that a big old mixed mess. I'll sort it out later. 
that is one of the things that I do want to get done before Season Zero is declared finished, is I want to get a good automated storage system and really try to grapple with uh, how that needs to work. Are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> You're supposed to talk when I ask that. Yeah, I'm okay. Here comes a puppy. He wants to be sure. <clears throat> well, I'm not entirely sure either. I don't know what happened there. Sounded like death. No, not death. It was only mostly death. If it had been all death. That too sounds like death. Yes, but not mine. Oh, okay. Well, that's better. Man. Okay. You know what? No such thing as too much light. So do we have any idea when the honey stuff is coming out? Um, probably soon-ish. TM. Uh, no. There, there's no... <clears throat> no final timeline has been proposed that I'm aware of. Uh, it sounds like it probably won't be in time. It won't be until Christmas. Or somewhere thereabouts. Which, I mean, is kind of good for us, because that gives us plenty of time to get ready for the next bit. Oh. Hello. Please tell me you can't climb up. Okay, good. I need to... Uh -huh. To get some signs. I have many. Oh, I have them. Still. That sounded rough. Yeah, it felt kind of rough too. Keep 
planks on... No, I want to keep the planks on me. I want to keep the stone on me. Yeah. That'll work. Um. Okay. <laughs> I was getting kind of worried there. The box just kind of disappeared. Yeah, the lag has been, um... More than usual? Yeah, it's one of the perils of running a... a holy creepers. Jeepers creepers. Go away. Is that you shooting an arrow? No. Okay, then... I need to be even more careful. That's also not me throwing a trident, whatever that sound was. Oh no, that was totally me. Oh, okay. Okay, that was a weird terrain generation bit. So what else is on your goal, li goal list for uh, before this season is over? Uh, the major one is the the storage system. I really want to finish up my castle, but to do that, I need to get the tree farm taken care of. And uh, that's one of those projects that it's going to take me a long weekend to finish. And um, <clears throat> the one thing that's been in short supply are weekends, long or short. And that's the truth. Yeah. So I, I hope to be able to get that done. But if I don't, I won't say it's not the end of the world, but it's definitely, I, I get it. feel about flowing lava <laughs> um well that is a hot topic i'm not sure we want to touch that really 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 Be here all night. Try the veal. Tip your waitress. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. I didn't bring water. Oh. Can I touch the lava? Um. Yeah, I, I can see where you had a burning concern. Just wow. Just wow. Well. Mm -hmm. I mean, I figure if I can manage joke after joke, that no, never mind. That was a stretch. I'm not even gonna finish that one. And you know it's bad if even I'm sitting here going, yeah, nah, maybe not. Wow. Yes, it is horrible if that is the case. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Try. All right, I hear him again. There's somebody around here. All right, but anyway, for long term goals, uh, storage system, castle are two big ones. Uh, I would really like to get the tree farm done, but time and life and life and time. Um, I don't know 
that I've seen any other major builds that I would like to accomplish. But, um... Mm -hmm. I guess it is the only way out, right? Yeah. Sorry, trying to make sure I leave uh, breadcrumbs too. Do you need more signs? Nope. Because I've been harvesting all the lumber from the uh, mine shaft. And I've been using that to make signs as I go. I'm just running into caves that kind of double back and loop in on each other. I would like to finish up that sand temple project, although I don't have a good clear picture of what exactly I want to do with it. Yeah, I wouldn't mind building a one of the th a nice three x three piston door kind of deal, just because I've not done that yet. You know, I've got the gate that I'm using at my castle and that I built over at the village that we're rehabbing. Um, Is it going to be a hipster door? <laughs> you, you like that, did you? That was a fun video. I, I heard mumble mumble one video. It was a fun video. Yeah, it was a fun video. Um, I don't even know. I Mumbo did a video a while back on... No! <laughs> uh oh that can't be good. <laughs> That's how you know something bad has happened, folks. You know it's really bad if it's a more prolonged... No. Alright, uh, I need to go forward. So many bad people. To the right. I don't know if that's useful or confused. Yeah, let me redo that one. There with a throw lighting. <laughs> throw lighting. Yeah, like I don't know, like a ring down down a deep gorge. Well, uh, <laughs> since we have fire tick turned off, you could technically just go running around with a flint and steel, and you know, lighting little fires. I probably shouldn't have told you that. Because anybody who's played D&D &D knows what you like to do with fire. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the audience, if that doesn't creep you out. <laughs> I like fire, it burns. <laughs> Stop it. Uh-oh. People are trying oh. to kill me. Hello? Uh, as Rhea steps away, probably for work. Because those are the joys of management, folks. <laughs> Does it breathe? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that is another, that is another favorite. Fire doesn't breathe. Um, basically, if you are in a D and D campaign involving Rayest, and she asks you what is what sounds like it really should be an innocuous question, but why would anybody ask that? Brace yourself. Strange things are about to happen, and somebody's going to be not very happy about it. Most likely, the GM. Almost certainly the GM. Always fill in your divots, folks. So we've had fun conversations over does it breathe and, well, I'm trying to keep the 
rating on my channel, so no, I won't repeat any more of the other ones. <laughs> Before I harvest all that, let's get some lights. And behind that corridor is another corridor. Ooh, some gems and iron and rails. Everybody else heard that, right? Okay. Let's see. Yeah. Nope, nope. I want to hang on to that. I'll keep both of those and all right. Hmm, some melon seeds. that guy in there and that guy in there and there we go. All right. Okay. Good. Oh. Oh, there you are. Hi. up that fire damage. I am a little concerned with the frequency we're seeing these guys. Uh, not the zombies, the uh, cobwebs. That usually means that there is a spider spawner somewhere in the general vicinity. And that is always interesting oh okay that's a little more comforting we have to loop back around Maria said she wanted all the gravel just to make that easier to light we'll go ahead and knock that out there Still trying to get a handle on how I want to get the channel set up, the videos set up. Um, you know, last week I tried to do a fairly technical build online or live on air, and I think I'm gonna try to keep those to uh, to just on video instead of trying to do those on live stream, at least until I get a little bit better with uh, with the builds. Like, if it's something that I've built enough times that I can do it without thinking about it, maybe then? But uh, right now, I've noticed that I still have a tendency to get lost in thought. I'm so, <laughs> I'm so used to playing the game and vegging out that I kind of lose track of the fact, like, oh yeah, you're, you're live. Uh... And with technical bills like last week, I, I noticed that I was really getting wrapped up in what I was doing. Uh, so that that's definitely going to be a candidate for, uh, for when I can do something and not really have to think about it too hard. Yeah, this sort of cave lighting stuff... Uh, this this is definitely the ideal stream content 
It is easy. Uh, it doesn't require nearly as much focus, although, again, I, I find that I'm still getting, uh, still getting a little lost in my own headspace, and I gotta work on, I gotta work on fixing that, doing that a little bit better. Uh, it doesn't help that the last few weekends have been helping my parents pack. Mom got a new job. And, uh, yeah. They, they've they accumulated a lot of stuff over, uh, yikes. That's a lot of stuff. Uh, speaking of a lot of stuff, they've accumulated a lot of stuff over the years. <laughs> And trying to help them pack all that up has been an adventure. That's what we'll call it. We'll call it an adventure. Not a fun adventure. What about potential criminal insanity? Um, yeah, yeah, you know, there were a couple of times that I started re pre writing the headline, you know, local man dies in bizarre moving accident. Film at 11. We could bury him under the new sad. <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything that sounds like premeditation on air, you know, where there's recordings and stuff. No, that's where they look now. Ah. <laughs> what are you doing and why is it close to me? I am digging up gravel because you said you wanted all the gravel. Oh, no, things are blowing up. If you're not blowing stuff up, who is blowing stuff up? I am not blowing stuff up, and Arcadius is not on. Well, that's not terrifying at all. No. I also noticed that your health is low, and I can't tell if that's uh, related to the question you're asking or uh, incidental. Uh, it is not directly related. It's because I haven't healed since I was on fire. No, oh. you, you should probably do that. Yeah. You know, much like in real life, you, you really should eat from time to time. I'm eating right now. In real life. Uh, I forgot I put the lanterns in my offhand. Where, where did the carrots go? There we go. I don't know. Ask a certain puppy. Oh, yeah. I probably shouldn't have said that out loud. They are his favorite snack. All right. Uh -huh. Probably put a sign up too, but uh, I don't. That is pretty much a dead end. But that way, I should definitely go out. An iron. Hello. Speaking of burning things. Alright, that dead end is finished and lit. Yes? Yes. Okay, good. Oh! Hi. Um, that sounds like a trident. It does, doesn't it? How are there drowned people here? Because there's a open, there's a river ravine near here. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, so is my aim on this trident. But I think it's because the guy's stuck on a cobweb all the way back there. So neither one of us have been able to hit each other. That's hilarious. Uh, oh, no, never mind. He adjusted his aim faster than me. <laughs> oh, okay. Maybe I did hit him more than I thought I did. Hey. 
Hello, lady. You've been sorely missed. <laughs> That's another way to get lighting. To set the zombie on fire. That would be the uh, Reyest method of lighting. Yeah, but the problem is they don't stay on fire long enough. <laughs> Hi, guys. There's a spawner there, or is it just because we're running out of places for you guys to spawn? Oh no, it's because there is a really big dark cave right there. Okay. Okay. Seriously? Uh. Inventory management. Now, if we're talking about things that it would be really nice for Mo Yang to uh, to work on. More bag space. Inventory management. Please. I mean, the shulkers are nice. Don't get me wrong. All right, let's uh, let's try to do this smarter. <laughs> uh, yeah, the shulkers are nice. Don't get me wrong. But um. We have a lot more blocks than when we started playing. And we weren't necessarily all that early into Minecraft. Because I started playing with you guys, what, around 1.7? 1 1.8? 1 yeah, thereabouts. And I think you guys have been playing just a little bit longer than that. But not, not that much longer. Not terribly longer. Oh, oh, oh. I would appreciate not the cave in. I have your gravel though. Yay! I like it. Uh, or more so, I like the resulting thing that comes from gravel. What about concrete? Exactly. <coughs> oops. No oops. Not a lot. It wasn't a bad oops. It wasn't a bad oops. Uh huh. All right. I just accidentally put my shulker in the ground instead of the light. Oh. <laughs> okay. See, not a All bad right, oops. Okay. Uh, since I got haste, that means that I'm definitely somewhere close to where the beacon is. I seem to have doubled back into where the uh, the center of town again. And I, I have no clue where I am. I am under the ground. Well, I do know that because things aren't trying to kill me. Night Stalker guys. Night Stalker guys? Yeah. What are they called? Creepers. Oh, no, not them. The other the ones. Zombies? The flying ones. Flying ones. Bats? Phantoms. There. <laughs> Charades. One word. <laughs> Sounds like. <laughs> oh, man. I finally got caught up on a lot of my podcasts today, too. Um... I've added Econ Talker since the last time I mentioned podcasts on a live stream as one of my regular bits. Russ Roberts is an economist with um, Stanford. And uh, an unapologetic libertarian, if, uh, if that matters. I don't think it does, but if that matters to you, he, he is very much a libertarian and he doesn't care if you don't care. 
Or he doesn't care if you care. Which also is part of the appeal. But, um... I definitely appreciated on the latest one his willingness to push back on hosts. Like Brett McKay over at The Art of Manliness. I, I love the interviews he does because very clear from the interviews that he has read the books that he's talking to the person about. Um, but I've also noticed that when they say something kind of ridiculous or kind of weird or kind of uh, not logically consistent, he, he very politely does not push back. He may change the question, but he will not actively push back uh, when a guest is being exceptionally stupid. And Russ Roberts will very politely push back. Which style do you like better? I, I, I like I like pushing back a little bit and at least getting them to clarify because in a couple of cases it's been it's not so much that what they thought was that far that illogically or logically inconsistent it was the the choice of phrasing was poor for the point they were trying to make. And And I can at least, you know, okay. We, we've all tried to explain something and then grasped for the wrong word. Failed epically. Yeah. Or the word we meant and the word we used were not as uh, aligned as we would have thought. Or when you ask the question that way, uh, I guess what I really mean is... That's fair. And and so, you know, I do I do like that. And a lot of the stuff that comes with it. Mm hmm. Alright. I'm gonna be careful because I'm starting to I, I've been kind of randomly filling in the shulker boxes. off a lot of these. I really want to keep some of the rail on me. That, that's that been rather useful. What are you using the rail for? For breaking gravel. So you knock down the... Um, just like you'd put a torch under where the gravel falls so it'll break when it lands. You can also mm -hmm. put a rail under gravel as it falls and it will break. So you're not sitting there trying to farm 802 pieces of gravel. Cool. Sometimes. I try to work efficiently. I was going to say lazy, but you know, th those are often confused. True. It's sad. Nobody at works believes that I'm lazy. How, how else do you find the most efficient way to do something? Ask ask the person intelligently lazy. Exactly. Oh, I see a which, ding. Arcadius is here. Oh. <laughs> hello, hello. How goes the project? It goes. You should come help. I am yeah. on my way. Be very careful. Some of these floors are only one deep. Yeah, yeah. I, I found that one out the hard way, too. And Rayest would like all the gravel you come across. I mean, she wants the other resources, too, but specifically all the gravel. All, all the gravel. Are we actually going to see that base of yours get finished? I mean... Or is this oh, gravel are for we going different... there? Or is oh, this oh. gravel for a different project? Ladies and gentlemen, get the popcorn. It's about to begin. 
I mean, I'm just curious, like, w w which of your fully completed things that you've started are you using to throw that stone with? The fish farm. Oh, the very beginning thing that you did at the very beginning of the season. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. That That's the that's the fortress right off the main, which is also complete. Uh, in context, that is not a fortress. That was your starting base. That doesn't count. Finishing a starting base does not count. <laughs> and I'm not sure I'd call it a fortress. Like, I'm, I'm definitely going to have to quibble on you about that one. No, that's a fortress. What no, you're building no, is a stronghold. That's not a fortress. That That's like a shack or a shanty or... Um, you know, a little outpost or something. It is a single fortified structure, a single tower. It is a fort. Not a, a castle. It is a fort. Now, the guard shacks are out in the lake. I built those two. Mm, those are more like guard hovels. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to go that rough about it. <laughs> yes, but thrones, stones were thrown. Yeah, no. Yeah, uh, yeah medic. I, I kind of got that feeling too that uh, Arcadius is not winning this one. <laughs> it's okay. I, I never win, so it's all good. I'm used to it. Uh, Hello, Gravel. Should no, probably not be standing on you on the edge of the cliff. All over the place, so we can find our way out again. Because uh, this is, I, I knew this was extensive, but I didn't think it was You didn't realize extensive. that there was a light post and a, um, a little guy with a half goat, half man? <laughs> no, I don't think we've quite hit Narnia levels, but I, I love that cartoon that I saw floating around. Where they're, they're asking. <laughs> Somebody uh, hops in the closet to go ask Narnia if they're still in the EU or not. Oh, that was beautiful. No, no, no! Um, Bad creeper! I, I'm seeing a disturbing number of things lit up off in the distance. And I'm wondering who's using good. the spectral arrows. That would be me. That's not me. Oh, J Jubba, are... <laughs> oh, Mama wasn't yelling at you. It's okay. Mama was yelling at the creepers, okay. baby. Mama's not yelling at you. Okay, first question. Where are the light sources? And two, where's the hole that goes down into these uh, lines? There are and a couple of different the light holes. Sources. And I have most of the lamps. And also, I have the shulker, so you need to come find me, too. Good luck with that. May the odd be ever in your favor. <laughs> yeah, I get a feeling that they're not. Um, is blue ice for six emeralds a good trade? Uh, it's not bad. Okay. Um, weird. Why? Like, I'm wondering... I'm up at the the build. Are the wandering traders affected by the beacons? Oh, was he running around like a cracked out chipmunk? <laughs> yes. <laughs> um this is highly entertaining. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't know if they are affected by the beacons, but I've seen that happen a couple of times and at least one it was there was no beacon in sight. So, regardless of if they are or are not affected by the beacons, they do occasionally start running around like somebody chugged a half dozen haste potions. <laughs> like, I had a case of Red Bull to sell you, but I decided to drink it all myself. Uh, <laughs> oh, and did I mention that it was Red Bull? It, it was espresso-flavored Red Bull? Because, uh... Mmm, that should be a thing. Espresso flavored Red Bull? No, yeah. no, that should not be a thing. Should be totally a thing. No, no, there is no way that needs to be a thing. 
And especially if there's no way that needs to be a thing you get your hands on. <laughs> you don't know what you're For the sake about. of your team. <laughs> Could you imagine? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> See, even Medic agrees. What do you say? Agreed. <laughs> oh. Of course. Now I'm beginning to wonder if he agrees that espresso Red Bull should be a thing, or that you shouldn't get your hands on it. I think that's it. what he meant. Or all the above. No, he, he meant that it should be a thing. I promise. <laughs> I oh, mean, I guess it really would help on third shift and all that, but. Uh. <laughs> all <of> the above. <laughs> Some days I wonder. Uh, who triggered a race? <laughs> Are you guys in the first to count? Why do you not keep a bucket of milk? A bucket on of you? what? Death? I just wanted to find a bucket so I could put milk in it. There's cows right there. Yes, right there in the village. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, Thank God. Let, let, let me let me try to make my way out in time. Although I suspect I'm not going to make my way out in time. remaining two. Second down. Raiders are up by... Oh, wait, no. Wrong Raiders. <laughs> no, it is up this uh, way. No. Another over, pillager that way. the wall. Oh, did you seriously go and build a full set of stairs? What do you mean? I, I don't know why I'm surprised. I don't either. Yeah, you can always tell who dug a path through the cave because some people make uh, mountain goat paths and some people... Care about aesthetics? Oh, jeez. That was not what I wanted to do. Oh. Oh, you dirty rotten. What? Well, no, I was waiting for the trident to come back into my hand, and I picked up somebody's busted axe instead. So here I am <laughs> trying to, you know, fire another shot, and I can't. <laughs> I didn't hear the horn, did you? I did not, but I they're coming from the gate side. The main gate. Oh, got a beast. Got a beast. Uh, oh. Hello, server lag. You're exactly what I didn't need right now. Shotgun! Shotgun! Where's the other one, though? Oh. 
Where's Alaska? No idea. He ran away. Did he get stuck on the gate? That's a possibility. Nah, he would have spawned closer. Oh, here he is. He's stuck in the fountain. <laughs> I I'm so happy you enjoyed the fixture. <laughs> oh, I overshot that, didn't I? Oh, no, no. I, I mean, I totally gauged that correctly. I don't know that I believe you. I don't know that anybody else believes me either. Oh, same direction as the last wave. You know what's really funny? What? Me and you are the ones fighting, but Rast is the one with no health. Well, there was lava. That, you, know, you weren't here for that part. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I didn't mean to fall. Alright, fine. No, no! No! You can't take my no. <laughs> yes, I can. Emergency under parole. <laughs> Ooh. About that health you were talking about. Oh, I know what it is. I keep getting in range of the haste beacon, and so I end up running off the edge of the cliff when I didn't intend to. That's it. Focus on me up here. Pay no attention to that man shooting you to death. Uh, wow. That stunk. I mean, I'll just pick up all this XP before it goes to waste. <laughs> oh, uh, opposite side whenever you get back. I think I should have grabbed a uh, shield out of my box. I mean, there's part of me that wants to capture one of these Vindicators. And do what with him? You can set up a really neat passive mob farm. You name him Johnny, and he'll kill anything that goes nearby. So you set it up so that way all the sheep and stuff end up in a... Oh, get away, get away. No! Get away! And what, he says, here's Johnny every time he shows up? I mean, that sounds... Something like that. Weird. No. Yeah, no, I don't know the wisdom of that one. What? Trying to capture one of those. <laughs> well, then you, then you set it up as a passive mob farm, so you just keep breeding the cows and sheep and whatever and feeding them into one of the Vindicators. And But doesn't he, like, ask friends to join the party? I don't like his friends. No. No, uh, that's not the Vindicator. You're thinking of the, uh, the Wooloo person. I'm sorry, the what? <laughs> the evoker. <laughs> that's the one. Seriously, guys. That's it. Don't stand there. <laughs> yeah, I, I just... Oh. You, you got them? Oh, yeah. No, they're gone. I'm missing one, but those are gone. XP. Yeah. I'm hearing terrifying sounds. It's only terrifying to them. Did they get stuck somewhere? Take the fountain, maybe? You said they came from the same side, or...? Yeah. 
All right, everybody, everybody in here is safe, right? Okay, good, good. Nothing in the fountain. I don't know, but <laughs> all these poor souls are sweating bullets. I, I forgot that the villagers did that when the when the raiders are nearby. They actually start putting out little sweating animations. <laughs> oh, that's that's sad. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that. Where? All right. So where is the raid? Is this the same? Is this the same wave that we've been working on? Yeah, no, there's got to be at least three or four of them left. Otherwise, it would be telling us that we had a. Then where did they get stuck? Oh, here they are. They got stuck in a hole. Come here. Let me help you out. Where is here? Over here. Uh, okay. Oh! Oh, crikey! I, oh, mm -hmm. no, no! It is an evoker, too! <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's what you get. Ah. Be a smart butt. Go away! Ah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Over here, huh? <laughs> A lot of help. Yeah, gee, I, I don't know who is infamous for the over here. <clears throat> Arcadius. Yeah, but I've never died because of it. No, but others of us have. Uh, obviously, just now. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Alright, let me grab one of those for the moment so I can pick this up. Hey, we have Hero of the Village, though. Oh, is it just now finished? Yeah. Alright, then in that case... Uh, oh no, I do need that. Because uh, I need wings. <laughs> Slain by the Vex. That's more fitting than me and a silly witch, though. Okay, so uh, you are going to, I don't know, get a bucket of milk and keep it on you, right? Probably not, no. <laughs> that, that seems too logical. Where was that hole in this? Oh, <laughs> I forgot I got the Frostwalker boots on. <laughs> I thought I left a bucket over here. No, but we do have plenty of iron over there. Oh, that's right, I was closer to the vine farm. Uh, mm -hmm. Alright. Put that in there. Oh. Oh! <laughs> that sounded violent. Weird. Yeah. Guess who forgot that uh, his backup armor pants had Curse of Binding on them. Oh. And, and why did you have backup pants that were Curse of Binding? Uh, because I got them on a thing? A raid? Not a raid. Um, I, I need to clear inventory space. There we go.
Didn't realize I picked up that much extra stuff. Oh, a totem. Yep. Every time we kill a uh, Vindicator. Not Vindicator. Pleasure gets its wings. An Evoker. That's the one. The Ulu 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 guy. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Come on. <laughs> the Wolo -lo 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 guy. The Wolo -lo -lo. All right. Well. Since I'm here. Critical hit on the way down. That's right. I still have no uh, light sources. <laughs> yeah. Uh, while Looking you're standing that. next to Anon, why don't you pick up some lanterns? Well, that's what I was doing. I was going back up because he had the box out up here, didn't he? Oh, in his hand. Okay. Right there. Three, four. Four stacks should be playing. Yeah, that's what I said earlier. I'm starting to revise my estimate. Don't forget to pick up uh, coal, iron, and other resources. Why? We have an iron farm. Yes, and Because it would be wrong to leave them. <laughs> because then we become one of them. <laughs> Okay. Okay. <laughs> because when we become one of them... Yes, the people who don't pick up resources and then go, Ooh, I don't have any resources. I knew who you meant. They're some of my favorite YouTubers. Oh, I, they, they are wonderful, wonderful, wonderful YouTubers who make me go nuts every time I watch them. And what makes them wonderful YouTubers is I still tune in, even though I know it's going to make me nuts to watch them. <laughs> Medic seems to be taking this one personally. Uh, she's talking about uh, people leaving resources, not wizards. <laughs> right, I feel like I should mark off that this cave is even here. Uh, sure, that works. Okay, this one's done. Like done, done. Well, it's lit. Huh? If you haven't already picked up the empty shulker boxes, Reyes has them. I need to find the uh, where the ender chest went off to. Is there one in here? No. Where did it go? Oh, I don't have Hero of the Village. Cause... Nope. Because there was a, a nasty, dirty little Vex that killed you. Yeah. About that. Now I left an inner chest around here somewhere. Probably over here by the gate. There we go. All right. The combat and armor box goes in there. I'll drop my spare silk pick in there. Ooh. And actually, I needed that combat and armor box. <laughs> so I can put the spare pants in. <laughs> and, oh, I forgot I named it that. <laughs> oh, 
it's labeled melon protector. <laughs> oh, there are many bad guys that way. Yeah, I, I hear that happens. All right. Um, drop those in there. Let me, uh, I thought I had a potion box in here somewhere. Oh, I do. And it's already full. Okay. And I'll put my spare totem in... I'll leave that spare totem in my inventory. Because that seems smarter. I need a totem. Another one? Another one? Mine died. Your totem? I had an accident. It had an accident. <laughs> it had an accident? Or it you did. had an accident? It, it had did. an accident. <laughs> it did. It was sad. But I had Anderson over here. Stone. Smooth stone. Artisanally chiseled stone. All the cobble. That's a creeper. That's a creeper. That's a creeper. Creepers, creepers. Alright, uh... Another creeper. I can definitely put some of these rockets away for the moment. Keep a handful on me just in case. Put the empty shulkers there. No, no. It looks like nighttime. Ah, fine. I'm going in the cave anyway. But not that cave. Have we actually looped this cave around? Mm, kind of. Sort of. But not quite. Exactly. A little gravel. Uh. Ominous noise is ominous. Where are you? In a cave. Thank you. That was what I wanted to do. All right. Uh, you guys in the same <gasps> cave I'm in? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know that I want to be. I don't know that I want to be. <laughs> <laughs> there was a drop. Are you okay? There was a drop. I wasn't expecting it. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, somebody came through here with the sea lanterns. It might have actually been me. Yeah, it looks too uniform to be me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, I think this was when I was working on the, uh, the spawner. This was one of the caves that was found.
But it looks like it hooks up with the cave that we've been working on. That's hilarious. Yeah, for varying definitions, hilarious. No, more to myself. I got stuck on a cobweb. Definitely tell where I have lit versus where you guys have lit. Why do you say that? Because I light up a lot more than you guys do. Nope. Oh, I heard somebody nearby. I'm assuming it's you since the oomph was followed by... Oh. <laughs> you can't quite hit that octave. <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> 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 that is not my range. <laughs> yeah, I hear somebody digging up gravel nearby. A series of interconnected caves. Mm -hmm. Reminds me of the old MapQuest maps. A series of highways that all look alike. They actually, oh, right. for for a little while there, before they got enough map data, that w that was what they put in the areas they didn't have coverage on. A series of highways that all look alike. How close does the gravel sound? I'm right next to you, so it's pretty loud. I see a nameplate running back and forth, but I can't quite tell who's. It's oh, me. There's Arcadius next to me, so that must be Rayest. Yeah. Okay. Checking the survey population like I didn't have a whitelist going. That's not funny. <laughs> what? I was peeking through a hole and dropped a block in front of her. Oh. After I just uh, cleared the area. To, are you trying to do your poltergeist thing? Oh, oh, sounds like just dessert. Oh, I heard a boom. Did you break my stuff? Um, no, <laughs> not directly. <laughs> I I did not. <gasps> you weren't supposed to follow me. <laughs> I didn't mean to. <laughs> uh, did did we find that the floor was only one deep? Yes. I am so glad that I expanded this out earlier. There was not a floor here earlier. <laughs> oh, so was it a larger uh, drop? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we were in a mine shaft, and that dropped us like straight into a ravine, it looks like. Yeah, there, there's a couple of ravines down here. No wonder our mob driver's not working for nothing. Yeah. Well, why do you think we wanted to do this project? That and to make sure nothing crawled up out of the ground and killed their villagers once we turned them loose loose. How do I get back to where I was? Oh, no! Bad guy, bad guy, bad guy. Go away. We didn't light well enough. I just fell down here. Of course it's not lit well enough. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what were you expecting? Uh, more from you, duh. <laughs> no, there was a bad guy where bad guys are not supposed to be. Well, you have to remember it's nighttime upstairs. They could wander in from outside, also. Well, I just fixed his wandering problem. <laughs> 
That's kind of you. I try. Oh, oh my. I want to send like a screenshot of this. What? To who? To you two, because I don't want you to come over here. <laughs> I am staring down at a three. Like I'm what? One, two, three, four, four up. And I'm staring down at seven creepers that are staring up at me. So kill them. Kill them with fire. Pull a Dresden on them. I started rereading the books again. In the eventuality that Jim Butcher actually publishes the next one. Maybe. Keep holding your breath. Yeah. Are you trying to blow up the creepers? Because that's just a beautiful bit of irony. Uh, trying would imply that I didn't, and I did. Okay. <laughs> I, I just kind of like the irony of, you know, a surprise explosion blowing up a, cre a creeper. It just... Ooh, found some lapis. Other, other shiny blue rock. Oh, okay. What was it? Waddles was jokingly calling them fake diamonds. <laughs> um, and the inventory is full again. All right, let's. Uh, seem to have wandered in on somebody else's area. How can you oh. tell? Hello. Um. Hmm? Nothing to see. All's good. No. Just, you know, fix your divots. Uh, no divots, we're on stone. He's pretty much impotent other than just scaring the bejeebies out of me. I dare say we've got a fair amount of this taken care of. Alright, uh, let's get And some then we all died. Thank you for that. You're welcome. You're saying I'm the first guy to die in the horror movie? Yeah, because you're the one who goes, Hey guys, I think the coast is clear. Just in case, let's go check the scary shed where the bad guy was. You know, the one with all the chainsaws. <laughs> oh, dang it. Wow, this, this really did double back. Oh, 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 hello. Y you don't like me working over here? Um... I hear someone with a... Well, 
you know, the skeleton and I are having a disagreement over whose tunnel this is. How's it going for the skeleton? Yeah, oh, about as well as you'd expect. Oh, there's even more. Oh, there's a lot more. Holy mother of cave, Batman. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm almost at the point where I say let him have the pillagers. <laughs> no, that was not part of the bargain. Well, maybe we could renegotiate. We get some good terms. No. Dish, you did not take any of your boxing. No. Why not? Uh, they're they're not mine. I left them there for you. But but they're not mine. Then whose are they? Well, they're yours. If you left them there. No, I left them there for you. Goodness. I have too many. I won't be able to hold all my stuff. I hear it's okay as long as you don't answer yourself. Oh, hey. Reyes, did you want that totem? I will take a totem. There you go. Thank you. Hey. I have better odds now. <laughs> I lost track of where I was working. Yeah, we have quite the maze going here. Holy um, smoke. Why did somebody mark out the long way? Uh, because I didn't realize it was the long way until I turned to corner. Oh. It wasn't the long way at the time. Okay. At the time I put the sign down, it was the only way. Lapis. You know, I notice enchanting isn't quite uh, as big a deal as it used to be. When you stop and think about it. It is I until mean, you can get the resources. Game, yeah, but, yeah. But as soon as you get a, a villager or two, you do almost no enchanting. Although I do like that the villagers are way more useful and worlds easier to work with. Oh, oh, hi. Hi there. That's it. Burn in the cobweb. Like an ornament. Oh, I hear somebody else with the uh, trident of doom. There's an out. Oh. There's a what? Out up. An in and out? I could actually go for some in and no, out. No, it just right says out up. Yeah, up the waterfall. 
How do you think I get in? That actually come that that uh, waterfall actually comes out right next to the zombie spawner and the spawner. Interesting. Farm. I can't wait till we end up at the hole at the front lawn with the uh, iron gate in front of it. I got tired of getting attacked by critters running out of that hole that uh, I just put an iron fence in front of it. I was about to ask what you said, but then I realized that the sound was coming from whoever was walking by the window. The sounds are coming from just outside the window. Yeah, that's not creepy at all. <laughs> More or I less try. than blue place. What did he have? Fava beans? Yes, yeah, fava beans. Fava. Liver with a nice Chianti and some fava beans. <laughs> okay, now that's creepy. You're going to make a, um, a stair or something that leads down to where I just descended. Here. Where did you just descend? Uh. Ooh, ooh, oh. Diamonds! You just, uh, you ran away. What do you mean? I did not run away. Yeah, you were right here a minute ago. Oh, is that the same waterfall? That is the same waterfall. Okay, I just looped around. I almost want to just grab a stack of ice and start making wa uh, water... Not water elevators, but you know what I mean. The old school water elevator. What we used to call a water elevator. Until bubble columns were a thing. I feel old. Let's say your age is showing. Wait, you started the game the same time I did. No, earlier than I did. I was about to say earlier, but. <laughs> showing my age. I'll show you age. The more I think about it, I really ought to have that put up on a mug. What's that? That was not smart. <laughs> <laughs> Genuine Coffee Craft coffee mug. That was not smart. A non junior. <laughs> Limited edition. Rias would say, no, 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 no. <laughs> you missed a few of those earlier. Yeah. It's been an interesting day. Yeah, like I have no idea how to get out. <laughs> uh, that is actually the least of my problems, because I, I know that there's a haste beacon right here, so uh, I can't be that far from the village. Yeah. Worst that happens, you dig straight up. I mean, how wrong could that go? Um. <laughs> <laughs> Who's doing it, me or you? I mean. Hey, uh, you know, I really want to be mad about that, but uh, I'm not sure that I can. Oh. And there's Reyes again. And now we've just.
just tripled back on the same tunnel we've been working on for a while. Well, when it comes time to uh, recharge all our tools and stuff, I bet the zombie farm will be a little more effective. Mm -hmm. I just got to put a building around it. So you're marginally safe while you do it. Like a real building, or are we talking about the wall that you're putting around it too? Uh, E, all of the above. I am going to put a real building, and it is going to be part of the wall. It'll be another brick in the wall. Oh. Oh, goodness. What? Oh, boy. Speaking of, I may definitely need to recharge some tools soon. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not doing so bad at the moment. Of course, I I'm getting kind of mad that I put that turtle helmet on because I kept running into the valleys, the the flooded valley, flooded ravine, and ever since I grabbed the turtle helmet to help with the water breathing, I haven't run into one of those yet. Oh, well, I don't think I'm doing it for you. <laughs> ah, did you find them? Yeah, well, I found one. Yeah, there's been a couple. Of course, one is just outside the uh, entrance we were using. Uh, enough of that. Oh! Oh my! What? Uh, that's a lot of things in that ravine. <laughs> How do you mean things? Uh, two... Uh, we got a full house. Three creepers, two zombies. Oh. Or we can go two pair, two zombies, and two skeletons. Oh, that's what you mean. Oh, uh, I, I, I can't believe I'm going to say this. I almost wish I had some dynamite. Because I could just drop it right on top of them. And solve uh, a lot of trouble. I got tons of it. You need some? Uh, there's a part of me that really wants to know why you have the dynamite, and there's a part of me that really does not want to know why you have the dynamite. Well, you know, season, you know, January is pretty close, so I wanted it to go out with a bang. Season uh, <clears throat> finale. Uh, that's a negative Ghost Rider. You blow up my stuff, I will kill you. We still Try gotta finish putting signs on all the redstone stuff and leaving credits. Oh my. That's a lot of ground to cover. Oof. Uh <laughs> It's already 7.40. Something tells me we might be at this a couple of streams. That's okay. going to fit in there for the moment. I'll hang on to those, hang on to those. Maybe I'll hang on to that. There we go. 
Okay. Oof. Uh, my boxes overflow with. Ooh, ooh, lava, lava. <laughs> oh, yeah, there does seem to be a fair amount of that too. I see someone's banner over there. Someone's banner? Your nameplate. I'm trying to see who it is. Oh. I think it's yours. Maybe. Ha oh, oh, ha lava. Oh my. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. That's what water. happens. Uh... Gotta find some water. I'm gonna die. Did, did you really go caving without uh, being prepared for lava? What? No, of course not. Mm -hmm. my, my bucket has milk in it now. <laughs> that doesn't help with lava. Uh, you can have a tasty drink of milk before you die? I don't know. Doesn't seem helpful. Oh, it's rest. Oh. I, I see you've uh, neatened up the waterfall. A little bit. If you're working towards that same uh, shaft I am. You know what, we'll just spam a bunch of lights in there and call that okay for the moment. Creeper, creeper, creeper. <laughs> I heard that. I'm further down than you. Yeah, you are. Where's the bottom? Uh, that's a question I've been wondering myself. Since Arcadius mentioned something about diamonds earlier, I'm, I'm pretty certain we've not yet hit bottom, but we're awfully close. Oh, I found the bottom. You found the bottom? a controlled explosion. No, no, no reason to panic. Uh-huh. And who's buying that one? Bueller? Bueller. sure you light up all those little shelves too little shelves yeah the little one wide bits here and there that are uh, technically spawnable surfaces oh jeez I'm dead I am so dead yep what's wrong and that's why we light up the shelves I Over saw all those things water. drop on top of you, too. Just saying. <laughs> wow. I survived that with half a heart. <laughs> Ooh, I think oh. I need to start carrying a totem in my hand or something. Or stop making fun of people who do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, I was beginning to think that my, my stance might be changing on that one, too. Ooh, Lapis. Um, hold up. Does this ravine open into another ravine? <laughs> <laughs> I heard you like There's the ravine in that ravine. Oh, that creeper just totally walked by to go after you. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a solid gold zombie over there, too. Goodness. Guys. What is going on? Well, as like we that. light up the caves, there's less spaces for them to spawn. So what few spaces there are are going to get, uh, how shall I put this, more productive. Oh my goodness. It's like a creeper palooza in here. Oh, oh, oh. Hi, Mr. Skelly. Okay, server, you, you can release my trident any day now. What I was thinking. And then I realized I didn't have it because it was in my inventory. Yeah, that's happened to me a couple of times, too. Where I accidentally picked up something else. Yeah. Um, that bubble elevator supposedly goes out, right? Yes. But where is out? Out is not in. Um, well, I was cleaning it up and realized that there's actually a lot of places. Family friendly. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that, that. <laughs> well, I was holding back the, uh, I, I've got the sea lanterns in my offhand, because that makes it easier for placing. And, uh, so I was holding that to draw back as soon as I released the trident, I started placing, like, a ton of sea lanterns. Because that's how right-clicking works. Um, I made a mistake. I forgot to put down signs. I yeah, I have, I have no idea where I am. Oh, I know where I am. I'm in front of a lot of zombies and other critters that don't want me to be here. Um, oh. that water flow does not go up. Oh! 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 Run away! Painful. <laughs> this is the way we run away, run away, run away. Unless this is one of your guys' weird, twisted, cryptic stairways, that water does not go up. Oh. Or at least not to an exit. Bloody oath. I want all those sea lanterns. Nope, I wanted to find some semblance of oot. Oot. Hello, Mr. Creeper. You just leave me alone, Mr. Creeper. I'm busy. I'll play with you later. Bye. Um, I'm waiting for the part where I find the Minotaur in this labyrinth. Yeah, something. You know what? Copper dragon or something. <laughs> Do the Copper Dragons like, uh, Labyrinths? I thought it was a different one. Um... No, Copper. Copper like to hide inside a puzzling labyrinth and take you out at their leisure as you get lost. 
as opposed to a non-puzzling labyrinth. I kind of thought puzzling was the definition of a labyrinth. It's like a qualifier. For them, it is. Um, actually, they uh, it, it's one of their ways of one-upping each other. They like to... The more complex, the more crazy it is, because they don't just kill you. They actually let you play the game first. And they'll take you out at their leisure <laughs> do, while you're playing. Do they say? Do they start singing "Play the Game Tonight" while you're, while they're? You know. I don't know. They might, but um, the the key is is they're very social. Um, in the fact that when they get together, and it's very rare that they actually get together, uh, two of the same species or two of the same sex, uh, because it, it always ends up in a lifetime feud. <laughs> Uh, whereas if it's, you know, one male and one female, then it's just the guy trying to prove to the girl that he's worthy. But, um, uh, instead of a family feud. Exactly. Um, so yeah, they, they build these, like the more puzzling, the more crazy they can make it, they will. And they don't care that they can't fly because their anatomy is such that they hop better than they fly anyway. I forgot that they didn't fly. Oh, they fly, don't well, get me I wrong. Mean, but they prefer not to. They actually prefer the closed-in tight spaces. The better for their breath weapon to just destroy you, I guess. Well, I'm certainly feeling closed in. Mm -hmm. Anyway, you asked. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Let's switch that back out again, because it is marginally safe at the moment. Ish. Um, well, I found an Arcadius. I found, found a wild song. Arcadius. Yeah. Where the wild Arcadius are. Exit. Stage right. Running away. Running away. Even. Uh, that sign lied. No. Up and right. No. Up and right is a dead end. It wrote the lying sign. The cake is a lie, not a sign. So many mushrooms. <laughs> Arcadius, take me. Are, are we going to find a little cake that says eat me and a little potion that says drink me? Wait, that might be a thing. <laughs> Look, as long as we don't have the caterpillar smoking a hookah going, and who are you? Uh, oh, that's anticlimactic. Thought there was an actual mine shaft there. Guys. Underground, there's always going to be bad guys. <laughs> oh no, I'm right by the. Uh... Yeah. Oh, oh, that ravine comes out there. Oh, oh, hi guys. Oh, come on. 
Oh no. We we will definitely need to make uh, lighting up the outside a <laughs> a near term priority. Although I suspect that's going to be kind of hard until we get a sense for how we want the terrain to finish up. Yeah. Okay, how do we get out of here? <laughs> Follow the yellow brick road. At least that's what the representative of the Lollipop Guild told me. I think I'm back at the beginning. Oh, uh, let me... Let me I was getting ready to do the outro, and then I saw the creeper, and I thought, you know... I'd rather not get blown up just outside the redstone gate that I worked so hard to build. <laughs> By a wandering creeper. Alright, uh... Let's try this again. Bam! I didn't, I didn't realize the helmet covered my eyes like that. I, I look like I, I got a beanie covering and just a beard hanging. <laughs> okay, this is where I am going to switch the camera over to... The end credits. Uh, I still haven't heard back from Streamlabs yet because I, I do have that donation page if you would like to support the stream and what we're doing with the CoffeeCraft server. And if I can get a response from them, then those things will show up on those credits up above. And as much as I was joking about Patreon, I do actually plan on getting some of that squared away. So that that is... Uh, that, that is one of those things I would like to finish by before the end of Zero... See, Zero season. Season zero. Uh, speaking right would be another thing I'd like to get, you know, squared away before the end of season zero. <laughs> we stream this live Tuesdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. And the archives are uploaded on the YouTube channel. So if you're watching live, there's a link to the YouTube channel down in the description below. If you're watching on YouTube and would like to catch it live, there's links to Twitch and Mixer down below. I simulcast to both of them. Um, at least for the time being, uh, mixers on my short list, depending on how things go, but, uh, I I'm going to hang on to them for at least a couple more months. It looks like Microsoft is finally doing something with them and trying to make them, oh, f at least move up from, oh, that other thing to a solid second place streaming service. Uh, maybe I'll rant on that another day, <laughs> but, uh. Yeah, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You get notified when the stream archives get uploaded, and we're going to be producing some videos soon-ish. It was originally supposed to start at the start of this month, but uh, as I mentioned, I I've been helping my parents move, and that has taken up all my weekend time, and a lot of my spare time has been spent doing the stuff that I would have done over the weekend. So soon-ish, I will start having some produced videos show up on the YouTube channel, and I do plan on expanding the content beyond just Dream Archives and Coffee Craft episodes. I'll have some more Minecraft tutorial type stuff, potentially, uh, and maybe a variety of other things, too. Uh, I'm still trying to iron out exactly what I want on that channel. Subscribe, and you'll get to join along with the journey. And if you haven't already, also follow along on Twitch and or Mixer, whichever your service of choice is. And uh, with that, I'm going to say, oh, uh, I'm also going to mention that uh, the other stream that I do on Thursdays, as in the day after tomorrow, uh, Games Revisited. We are nearing the end of Season 1. We're down to the last two, three-ish weeks and we'll be getting to the finale of Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic. Uh, I'm going to dial up the Wayback Machine a little bit further for Season 2, and I've got it narrowed down to two games, one that ran on the old NES, 
that wonderful uncomfortable square controller with an A and a B and that was about it and uh, a game that ran on the old SNES the the uh, NES 2 the sequel um, no that's not what the S stood for the Super Nintendo and uh, so it's going to be one of those two and so you know dial up the nostalgia and all that good fun so if I don't see you Thursday, I hope to see you next week at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. Have fun. <laughs>